Hai Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And salam sejahtera In this video we will talk about metal displacement reaction In terms of oxidation number Change in oxidation number And also transfer of electron We'll see the concept first And then we'll see the experiment Okay, I'll give you uh, the video of the experiment So that you can see the reaction of metal displacement Okay, let's start Displacement reaction of metal from its salt solution. A displacement of metal is carried out by adding a metal into a salt solution of another metal. So you have two reactants there. One is metal, another one is a salt solution. So what does it mean by a salt solution? Salt solution means that you have the cation and anion where the anion is coming from the acid okay, and hydrogen ion in that acid is replaced by metal ion or ammonium ion so in this case your salt solution is copper nitrate solution so let me write the formula of copper nitrate solution first so that is your salt solution and then you have a metal in this experiment you are using zinc as the metal atom a more electropositive metal is able to displace a less electropositive metal from its salt solution so more electropositive means that okay, the atom or the metal have higher tendency to release electron and form a cation. So that is the meaning of electropositivity. Electropositivity means that the atoms have tendency to release electron and form cation. So cation maksudnya adalah positive ion. So in this reaction, you have to determine which metal is more electropositive. So where do we get this? Uh, how do we know that the metal is more electropositive or not? So we will have to refer to the electrochemical series. So this discussion on electrochemical series, I will not discuss it in details in this video. We will talk about it in the standard potential difference subtopic okay but in the series okay th this is the electrochemical series where as you can see we have the two metal ion in the reaction we are using the zinc and also copper so in this series as you can see here the zinc atom is higher than copper in the electrochemical series Okay, so as the electrochemical series is a series of metal that are arranged according to the standard electrode potential in the order of most negative to most positive, so more electropositive metal are stronger reducing agent because of the E0 value is more negative, so the atoms are easier to lose electron. Don't mind about the E0 value and such on. The thing that you have to understand for now is that the metal higher in electrochemical series is a metal that is more electropositive. So we can say that zinc is more electropositive. than copper so that is the most important part okay so when zinc is more electropositive than copper zinc have 
higher ability to release electron. Then copper ion. Zinc have the higher ability to release electron compared to copper. So zinc will release electron faster than copper. Okay, so that is the basic rules. Okay, the one that is higher in electrochemical series is more electropositive. Or you can also say that uh, more reactive, it, the atom will release electron faster than copper. So for this displacement reaction, so as you can see here, when zinc react with copper nitrate, you will see three observations. So this is the video that I uh, placed inside my video. So as you can see, there is three observations that the first one, you can see that the blue color of copper nitrate solution will change to colorless. Sometimes they will say that the intensity of blue color solution decrease or the color, the blue color solution becomes paler. So that three statement can be used as the observation for copper nitrate solution. The second observation that you will see is that the copper atom will be deposited at the end of the reaction. Okay, So you will see that a brown solid form during the reaction. And the third observation is that you will see that the zinc will become thinner. Okay, so the zinc will release electron to form ions. So the zinc will become thinner. So that is the observation that you will see. In terms of reaction, so in this reaction, copper and zinc will react to form zinc nitrate solution and copper okay so this is the reaction that you will see where the blue color so the blue copper nitrate solution here okay will turn to colorless or the color become paler just now i explained okay and then you will see the zinc metal here so zinc become thinner and later on, you will see the brown copper solid will deposited. Okay, brown solid deposited. Okay, so that is indicator that the copper atom has already formed during the reaction. So in this reaction, you have to determine which one is the uh, reactant that undergo oxidation, the reactant that undergo reduction, the reactant that act as oxidizing agent and the reactant that act as the reducing agent. So how do you know? Okay, so you have to look at the half equation for the reactant or you can uh, explain the reaction in terms of change in oxidation number. So let's see the half equation first. So half equation for zinc. So you must say that zinc atom okay, release electron to form zinc 2 plus ion and 2 electron. Okay, so in this case, how do I know that zinc atom beco uh, becomes zinc 2 plus ion? So this is metal. Metal exists as atom. Okay, when it displaces copper from its salt solution. Okay, it becomes zinc 2 plus ion. Okay, so that is how you know that the atom has already changed to ion. So this reaction, as you can see, okay, you have loss of electron. Okay, loss of electron is oxidation reaction. Okay. So zinc undergo oxidation reaction. So zinc is the reducing agent. 
if you want to explain okay, the redox reaction in terms of change in oxidation number, you can say that the oxidation number of zinc changed from 0 to plus 2. So you can also say that oxidation number increased from 0 to plus 2. So this is an oxidation reaction. So zinc is a reducing agent. So in this reaction, at the same time, as you can see, copper exists as ion in copper to nitrate solution. But after the reaction finish, copper atom, the brown solid deposited, means that the copper already exists as atoms. Okay? So how do copper 2 plus ion turn into copper atom? So the half equation would be copper 2 plus accept 2 electron to form copper atom. Okay, so copper 2 plus ion will accept the electron released by Okay, the zinc, so the copper will be accepted by copper 2 plus ion and the copper 2 plus ion will change to copper atom. So as you can see, this reaction gain electron. Okay, so copper 2 plus ion gain electron. So this is reduction reaction. So copper 2 plus ion is the oxidizing agent. At the same time, if you want to explain in terms of oxidation number, so you can see that the oxidation number of copper changed from plus 2 to 0. So copper atom 0, copper 2 plus ion plus 2. So the oxidation number decreased. from plus 2 to 0. Okay, so this reaction is a reduction reaction. So there is gain of electron. The oxidation number also decreased from plus 2 to 0. So copper 2 plus ion is the oxidizing agent. So we have both half equation. Okay, we can combine the half equation to become the ionic equation. Same as before, okay, let me write again the half equation. So zinc release electron to form zinc 2 plus ion plus 2 electron and then copper 2 plus ion accept the electron to form copper atom. So this is both half equation for the reaction. So how do you do the ionic equation? In this equation, as you can see, the electron have the same number. Both have two electrons. So you just have to cancel out the two electron. And again, write down the reactant and the product. So zinc plus Cu2 plus produce zinc 2 plus plus Cu. So in this reaction, as you can see, the zinc change from atom to ion and then copper change from ion copper 2 plus to atom copper. Okay. So the change in this reaction is metal displacement reaction where zinc the more electro positive metal displace copper so displace means remove copper from its salt solution okay from the salt solution of copper to nitrate just now okay so in this reaction 
The reaction is the redox reaction where there is a transfer of electron and change in oxidation number. In terms of the electrochemical series, we will discuss the electrochemical series specifically in the standard electrode potential in the next subtopic. Okay? If you want to try out one example of metal displacement reaction, you can react another metal that is very electropositive such as magnesium and you can react magnesium with let's say silver nitrate solution okay so magnesium is more reactive so magnesium will display silver and a new product will form so you can try out the half equation and ionic equation for this reaction so the so that you can understand better what does it mean by metal displacement reaction. In the next video, we will talk about the displacement of halogen from its halide solution. Okay, so uh, basically this reaction is similar to the metal displacement. It's just that we are looking at the halogen part, the group 17 in periodic table so uh, don't forget to watch uh, the next video uh, thank you don't forget to subscribe and like this video and you can comment uh, if you have any comment or question you can ask in the comment area thank you